So you want to turn your linked list into a double linked list. So there's some things that we need to do. I already took my old linked list project and duplicated it. Uh, so this is a new project, but these are copies of all the old files. Uh, you don't need this node hanging out here. All that commented code can go away. All right, so there's a few things that change. Inside the node, not only is there a next, there's a previous. Uh, I have other videos you need to go watch uh, about what a double linked list is and how to deal with previous. Uh, but I'm just going to look at how to change the code here. So we have two constructors, uh, but each constructor, none of them set previous. So what I'm going to do, I'd like to maintain my old constructor that just takes data and next. So what I'm going to do is set previous to null. Uh, you really should be setting all of your fields to something, even if it's null. Uh, and I'm going to do the same setting it to null down here. And we're going to do that quick control shift down, alt shift down, boom. I'm going to make a new constructor that's going to look a lot like this one, except I'm going to put a third parameter, which is node prev. In terms of the order, the order is important. Notice it goes node, node. But for me, a natural ordering would be the previous before the next, like that. So now I have a constructor that takes a previous and a next and creates it. And if you want to make one just like this constructor, that's another reasonable idea. Uh, but you're going to see we're going to have a serious problem here. So I will set null, uh, next to null, and prev to whatever they sent in. But we have a problem. And if you look, constructor is already defined. The way methods work, there's the name of the method, obviously. So they both have the same name. But it has the same name as this one. But the other part of the method is the parameters. And this, all this taken together is called the signature. And it must be unique. So I can't have another method that takes a node or that's named node that has the first parameter as E, whatever type we've uh, declared, and the second parameter is node because it already exists and it's right here. So you may want to create this constructor, but you can't. So we just delete it. Uh, now, if you could actually delete this constructor and then just send uh, null uh, to whichever of these you wanted to be null. That's another option. But I'm going to leave this constructor in here because I've already written a lot of code that uses this constructor, and I don't want to break that code.